Okay, we are live. This is my 29th live stream today. <laughs> Just kidding. He's making me wait on this Lenovo Slim 7 Pro X review. That's coming. Uh, I'm working on it. You know, these take time. Uh, it's a nice laptop. I got to tell you. Um, I ran some tests on it in the 120 hertz battery test. And then I did a... Uh, one with the 60 hertz. So uh, I'm going to report my findings. I don't want to give it all away just yet, but it's a nice laptop. I'm very impressed with it. I like what you get for the price to performance ratio. We're going to have more on that. I'll have that early this week. I, I think we'll get that out either early to midweek, depending on how I how much I can get done. Good to see everybody with another live stream here. It's Sunday, August 7th, 4.33 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, again, I'm going to keep pumping these out as these things come in. And I'm going to use the weekends because uh, obviously I can get more done. And we have a good one today. Another enterprise or business focused laptop, this time from HP. We saw a good one from Dell. That's turning out really great. And I'll have more to say on that this week as well. Uh, but this one is from the Elite line and the Elite book line, I would say. And it's the HP Elite Dragonfly Gen 3. There are some changes here in the third generation. It's gone through a few uh, number of dynamics that it's gone through, through changes. It used to be a 2-in-1 convertible. Now is a clamshell. They've moved to a 3-to-2 aspect ratio. And um, pretty interesting. We're going to see how that's all going to play out. Has a lot of security features and stuff like that. So that's going to be good for those business users and enterprise users that will need it. And of course, it's not cheap. It's going to come in pretty expensive. However, I will say this, just like I did with Dell and also with the ThinkPads, these prices, uh, as a consumer, if you're looking at them, you have to understand that they're going to be purchased by uh, these larger corporations, they're going to buy them in bulk, they're going to get discounts, and they're not going to blink at the price. So with that being said, they do run a lot of sales. And uh, a lot of consumers like the Elite line here, especially with the Dragonflies. I looked at the Dragonfly Chromebook, and that was very impressive. So I guess along those design cues, they now have a 13.5-inch display, 3-to-2 uh, aspect ratio. Uh, again, moving away from the 2-in-1 convertible that we saw in the past, and now we're at the clamshell. So we're going to see it here today. So um, let's see, see a load of few people, and then we'll get right to business. We see that Michael Pepper Tech is here. How are you, my friend? And you got the Asus ZenBook 14 with the 5900HX. That is a really nice laptop. I'd love to review it. I've been waiting on Asus to send something over, so that would be great. And a lot of tech reviewers, yes, we're covering the older version. Uh, good to see Yasser here. One bad van now he's one bad van not where's the man <laughs> um so i will have that slim pro x review out very soon so stay tuned again that's coming this week um and we have dorian 06 here good to see you how are you doing ernesto giron our good buddy william cohen a member uh, our great moderator another great live stream coming up hit the like button yes absolutely and it do do that. Do me a favor. Hit that like button because uh, we have uh, 63 of you watching, but only 14 likes. So if you can do me that favor, hit the like button and that will get us uh, seen by more people. And uh, that's the goal of here to grow the channel. And we're growing. That's for sure. Uh, do you have the glossy one on the Pro X or the matte? It's a glossy display. Um, that is correct. One bad van. And it's easier for me to say one bad Vin, so I'm, I'm kind of happy you shortened the name. Uh, what is the best video editing laptop money can buy? Oh, that's a whole nother discussion. Let's talk about what we're going to get on box today. Could be the one M1 Max. Yeah, that could be it, Alex. Uh, we got Revolt here. Good to see you. Good to see you once again. Rocking the Lenovo Yoga X1. Nice. I kept stumbling on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I stumble on everything. I even got, if you saw my video on the MacBook Air M2 I released yesterday, which is doing surprisingly well. I'm shocked. Um, but I called <laughs> Starlight. I called it Twilight. 
But who cares? <laughs> these stupid names anyway, these marketing terms that Apple comes up with. Who the hell cares? But I kept calling it Twilight. It kind of feels, I feel a little bit stupid, but whatever. I don't care. Uh, good to see Jeremy Tarter here. Uh, any updates on the ThinkPad X1 Nano Gen 2? I think that's coming soon. Uh, they're pumping stuff out over there at Lenovo. Uh, I think that's coming soon, so stay tuned. We should be seeing it. X1 Carbon here and loving it. All right. M2 video was pretty good. Pretty good? What the heck? It's, it's great. You want to tell me it's great. All right, Secret Twilight movie fan, huh? Maybe. I don't know. Apple with their stupid naming conventions, whatever. X1 Carbon. You're talking about... Uh, X1 Carbon Gen 4. Wow, you're going back. All right, let's get to business here. Um, let me take this off of the camera here or the or off the screen. Okay, so here's the deal. This is running a U-series processor, 12th Gen Intel. I believe the one they sent over is the Core i7-1265U. Uh, it has, I believe it has V Pro. And uh, this is a Full HD plus display. It's 1920 by 1280, three to two aspect ratio. Uh, it's also going to have um, pretty fast uh, DDR5 memory, if I'm not mistaken. Again, don't quote me on this because I don't. I didn't get it to a briefing yet. That'll be coming this week, so I'm a little bit ahead of the game here. Um, let me see if it says. Now this can go. This can, can be configured with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. So we're gonna let's get it out of the box. Let's take a look at what this uh, has to offer, and then we can just take a look at it and get more info. Again, white packaging from HP. I've seen it with that X360 from the Spectre line. Oh, nice. Okay, this is something a little bit new. Now they have some pictures on the, the, on the lid here. Uh, I get some warranty information for those wondering. But uh, let's rip this open. And it says, uh, oh, this says right here, 13.5 inch notebook. Business laptop, people, business laptop. Don't faint when you see the pricing, as I said. Okay. Looks nice. Very nice presentation. Oh, it feels nice. Three to two aspect ratio. It has that more boxy square look. It's going to be taller. Let me close this knife before I cut myself. I think I almost did. Okay, I didn't. Thank God. Okay, so let's see what we get in the box here. Let's start off with this. It looks like some documentation for the Elite book here which is in the elite line, I should say, it's the Dragonfly. And we've seen this before. This should be a 65 watt braided cable here, uh, adapter. Let's uh, cut this open. And yes, it is a 65 watt USB-C power adapter. Logo looks nice, right? Good to see Tech Realm here. So 65 watts and an extension cord. And I think that's it. No pen here because, again, this is not a convertible. They moved away from that. Nice packaging there. And, of course this wax paper oh that's a nice blue now they did that really nice iridescent blue in the past this is a little bit more subdued but really nice coloring here uh nice colorway beautiful laptop gotta give kudos to hp here um it says dragon what does it say dragonfly here let's see if you can see that there it says dragonfly and you can see the color here. Let me put it on this camera. 
Uh, very nice all metal design. Very nice all metal design. Um, it's a uh, it's a blue. I don't know what they're calling it. I'll find out when I get my briefing. I still didn't get a briefing on it. It'll be this week. Uh, very deep. Is it called very deep lake? Is that what they're calling it? It could be. It is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Um, you can see it here. And I got to tell you, it feels good. Apple would call this midnight. I would call it twilight <laughs> if you watch my video. Uh, let's take a look at the ports here. Let's start off on the left side. So we got HDMI, which I love to see. It has an SD card reader, it looks like, or maybe the spot for optional uh, wireless WAN. So 4G or 5G, I'll take a look at that. Thunderbolt 4 port over there, USB-C. And then uh, Kensington Lock, another Thunderbolt 4, a drop jaw USB-A, which HP likes to use, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Nice, nice port selection. Again, I think this will be obviously the optional 4G or 5G. I don't know what they're offering. We'll take a look at the specs in a moment. Uh, let's see if we can open this with one finger. We can. I have a slippery table here. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. That is nice. So it's got NFC right there. And again, this is V Pro. It's also got the HP Wolf security. A lot of, uh, a lot of security features here. They don't give it. I looked. I looked before we started. Uh, they don't give it. Um, but it might be on their website. I don't see it, but there, there's a silver version of this. There's this blue version. I don't know the exact names, but we can, we can find out. Um, so this is a really nice glass trackpad or touchpad. V Pro i7. This is a 1265. Again, HP Wolf security. It has Dragonfly branding there. NFC in the trackpad right there. You can see it here. And very thin. Now, of course, this is going to be uh, one kilogram or 2.2 pounds. Okay. This is a very nice laptop. I got to tell you. Let's see how far back the screen goes. Oh, it's 180 degree hinge. Nice. So you want to go all the way back. You can. There you go. It's a glossy display. Now, this is a full HD plus uh, 1920 by 1280. Again, three to two aspect ratio. So dragonfly blue would make sense, Michael. That's for sure. But whatever color they're calling it, we've seen what they've called it in the past. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now it says Bang & Olufsen there. Let's take a look at the keyboard real quick before we power it on. Uh, very, very nice. Feels great. Nice travel on it. Good tactility. Touchpad feels good. Again, it's a mechanical. It's not going to be haptic. Um, you got the up and the arrow keys over here. Nice uh, right and left. Pretty nice size. Smaller up and down. Uh, looking good. Now, let's see if the, um, they got a kill switch for the camera. And it's right there. Right there. And again, I'll get to your comments and questions. Let's power it on. I don't know. It does have some juice, and I don't know if they've already did any setup. I know HP sometimes doesn't do it, so I don't know if we're going to have to set it up, which we, of course, we can. And it says HP Wolf Security Protection here, and you can get a side view of it. Good to see Tech Realm. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but whatever, I'll catch up. Wow, for that price range, they're pretty bad. No, I mean, I don't know if you're talking about this. This is a business laptop. They're gonna they're gonna be costly. And I think, uh, like I said, you know, if you're a consumer looking at this, uh, you're gonna want to pay attention because a lot of this stuff will filter into their consumer line, uh, i.e., this the Spectre X360 we saw. A lot of these type of stuff first starts off on the Elite Book line, and then it will make its way to the consumer line, the Spectre and the um, the Envy line. So let's uh, let's get this set up here. So I'm in the United States, and I can put this on over here. Okay, let's say United States. Okay, let's see how bright this can go. Nice and bright. Now I think this is going to be a 400 nit display or 500 nits. I don't remember. 
skip that. It says according to here, and let me go to their website, the display options. And again, you can get it with the privacy guard. This is not that one that can get up to a thousand nits. And you could also get it with an OLED 3k 3000 by 2000 display. Uh, just like we saw on the, uh, HP Spectre X 360 13.5. So there is a, there's an option for that. And, uh, you could also get it with that privacy thousand nit display. I have the one with the non-touch. Yeah, this is non-touch but there are touch models of the full HD plus IPS. Um, there is no 5G option on the Spectre. That is correct. I was watching that. Um, let me connect over to my uh, network real quick. Oh, and it also has cellular. I, I can install my SIM card. So it looks like it might have it already um, ready for the cellular. I'll open it up and we'll take a look at it. I don't know if I'll do it on, on the live stream we'll see how we how it goes you probably could like we did last time and that's connecting to my network and that connected real fast so one thing this has is bluetooth uh 5.3 by the way so wi-fi 6e and bluetooth 5.3 this might be the first device to have 5.3 that i've got a chance to check uh, check out so there you go Good to see Christine here. Uh, work issued a laptop as an HP ProBook inexpensive cub cubicle dweller model. The Dragonfly is far beyond my pay grade. It's far beyond mine as well. But I mean, this is a, this is gorgeous. I can see an executive with this. There's no question. Let's skip that for now. Um, this is really really nice looking. And again, look at this blue here. I mean, this is really really gorgeous. See a little bit of fingerprints. But uh, light also, this is a kilogram or 2.2 pounds. Let me double check the weight on that just to make sure. Yeah, starting at 2.2 pounds. And this would be the lightest because this isn't a non-touch. So it wouldn't have anything um, as far as a touch layer or anything making it more um, heavy. So let me put in my uh, account here. Hold on. Give me a second. I keep wanting to touch the screen because I'm used to the uh, elite books or the uh, dragonflies that have the touch screen. And that's connecting up and it is. All right. We have uh, 78 of you. Good to see tech realm. As I said earlier, good to see you, my friend. This one to go with my blue suit. Yes, <laughs> that is very, very uh, correct. All right, so it looks like it has an IR camera. And it's supposed to be a really nice one. So let's set up the um, Windows Hello here. So the camera is off by default, and that's a security feature. Let's turn it on. Looks like a pretty nice camera. And that's a quick setup right there. Nice. And we're set up for that. Let me set up the pin. Okay. I love the fact it has HDMI. In fact, we could probably hook it up right now. And I could show you. And I love having HDMI. You know that. It's set up as a new device. And let's plug it in also, because we're going to start benchmarking a little bit. I do have that, Tech Realm. Yeah, Luis, I have it here. I'm just behind. I'm, gonna, I'm a little bit behind. Good to see Nadine. How are you? Bio. Yeah, they were sending me stuff. They stopped. <laughs> I guess people didn't watch. I don't know. Uh, good question. Uh, question. Thank you, one bad van. Does the does this have plastic bezels on the screen? That was the discussion earlier. Oh, okay. Let me see. It's like a brushed metal. That's not. Pl I don't think that's plastic. Hold on. Let me. I need to take a closer look. Hold on. 
I think that's a, a brushed aluminum. And it looks like plastic, but it's not. I'm pretty sure. In fact, it feels a little cold. In other words, like a metal. That's not plastic. Remember, they're using very lightweight materials here. This is a, maybe this is a carbon or alumina or magnesium alloy. And this is a very thing. It could, I don't think it's plastic. I don't think it is. Whatever it is, this is very premium. I'm not really worried too much about it, to be honest. So let's get this set up. Again, I don't know. I'm looking at this and and what you're talking about is this bezel plastic. I don't think that is. I, th I think it's a very uh, brushed aluminum metal. That's what I think it is. But again, I could be wrong. It's tough because when they're using like a magnesium style, you know, that type of very lightweight alloy, um, it could be confused for plastic because it's so light. And one of the reasons they go with it is because of the weight. It's, it's so light, you could save on weight that, of course, you don't want. I mean, you don't want it to be heavy, obviously. And uh, I got to go through this whole setup here. We're almost done there. Okay. But uh, it's, a, it's a really nice keyboard so far. I'm very happy with it. 3,000 suit and a 3,000 laptop. You know it. I'll have to put on a suit for the video. Maybe this is a good one. This, is, this would be appropriate. Sometimes I do that. You know I do that sometimes. So don't tempt me. Okay. The newest Vio is hot. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> uh, not here in Vancouver. So is it? Uh, how's the weather there? Reminds me of the XPS Full HD is matte and has plastic bezels, though the 13 Plus has a glass display with matte coating. That is correct. Um, I don't want to, I don't think that's plastic, but again, I, it feels like metal, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I don't know. Revolt, I really, I'm, I don't know. And I'll ask them when I have the briefing this week. Aluminum and magnesium alloy. That's what I thought. Because that's the previous one. This could be ocean-bound plastics. They do a lot of recycled stuff. So maybe it is. I don't know. Do you still have the, prote the plastic protective sheet on the touchpad? Huh? I didn't take anything off this. This is the NFC. I don't know if that comes off, that sticker. Oh, yeah, it does. I still have it on there. Why you want me to take that off? What is it? Leave a line to leave a line to support the channel. Okay, I like that. That reminds me, you know, super stickers, super chats are open. I got this knife here. I'm about to cut myself. I better put this away. Um, super chat, super stickers, memberships. Help me out, people. Ooh, that's nice. So that is the display here, and you can see it here. That's a beauty. All right. I like it. And uh, three to two aspect ratio. It is plastic, but has so e metal flake or could have, I don't know. I don't think it matters, to be honest. It's nice. Looking at this laptop really secures the value of their Aero 13. Yeah, that's a really good one. 2.2 pounds, magnesium as well. And looks to be identical port selection. Obviously not quite as well specced out as this. Again, this is going to be a little bit expensive for some people, obviously. We got 91 of you watching. Hello. Um, and uh, let's, uh, let's go over to the, this is the laptop right here. I'm connected directly into the HDMI, which I like. Um, let's go to Geekbench. I want to get a Geekbench score going. Let me just download it real quick. Of course, I didn't save it to anything. Um, let's go to Geekbench 5. And let's down, Let's go to the downloads and let's go to Windows. Pretty snappy. And let's just get this downloaded and it's downloading now. 
Uh, while we're here, let's go to the system setting, the system specs. It's the 12th gen Intel Core i7 1265U, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it also has no pen touch, obviously, this is a clamshell, but there is a touch model available, and there's also an OLED 3000 by 2000 model available as well. So let's close this and let me go to the device manager. And let's go to C just real quick, and then we'll go to the display settings in a moment. Um, let me close all these. These are just annoying. Automatically comes on. Okay, so this has got um, XE graphics, obviously integrated. And then, then it has a 512 gigabyte SSD, should be M.2. I'm hoping it's PCIe Gen 4, we'll see. And then um, I wanna take a look at real quick while we're here, let's go to display settings. And this is um, 150 scaled. There's a, some kind of bug here. 1920 by 1280 uh, resolution. But it's very, very nice actually. It's a nice display, very, very nice. It's a bright display. They're saying 400 nits. I think it looks to me a little above that, but again, I'll, I'll check all the specs on that. So let me go to the downloads and let me uh, install this uh, Geekbench test. Just use my knife, KGL, to test it like Jerry Rig. <laughs> Jerry Rig everything. I don't think um, HP would like that too much, but I would have a lot of fun doing it, to be honest. All right, so... Fit suits here. Guys, subscribe now. That would be great. You know, we're growing at a fast pace. We're approaching 129,000. I'd like to get to 130 as soon as possible to 130,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, why don't you do so? Help me out. If you like the stuff, then why not hit the like button also? Because uh, we only have 55 likes and almost, uh, what, 93 of you watching. All right, let's run this CPU test. Oh, I forgot to, you know what I forgot to do? Put it into... The power mode, I forgot that. Let me see if I can do it real quick. It's in balance, let's go to best performance. And then HP has, there's me have to rerun this, but we could do two of them. So what does HP do it, I forget. What's there, is there a command? HP command or something like that? On this one, I don't know. I don't know which one it is, but whatever. Let's see how this comes out. Again, this is going to be a U-series. This is a 15-watt CPU. It has, uh, I forget the 1265U. Does that have 10 cores? Core i7. I'm looking it up. 1265U. It's hard to keep track of these. So according to Intel, this is a, uh, let's see, it's got uh, 10 cores, like I thought. Two performance cores, eight efficiency cores, 12 threads. It can turbo boost up to 4.8 giga, uh, 4.8 gigahertz. Efficiency core max turbo frequency 3.6 gigahertz. 12 megabytes of smart cache. 15 watt base power. It's a 15 watt CPU, but it can turbo up to 55 watts, a short of 12 watts. Okay, so 15 watt CPU. And I don't know if HP has their own. I forget on this elite line, elite book line. But we'll find out. And let me see if I hear the fans. I do hear the fans going. I don't know if it's one or two fans. Did I expose it? I don't, no, that one I don't care. It's a, it's a throwaway. It's a throwaway. I don't care. Anyway, there's nothing connected to that account. Okay, all right, decent score. But again, I don't know if we're on the most power, power performance mode. We'll see. Much better battery life and graphics, same CPU performance, okay? D-A-V-S, yes, I agree. Like and subscribe and super chat as well. That would be great. 
Anything helps. I appreciate it, people. It shows appreciation. I like that. All right, 1569 and 7075. Let me take a screenshot. Okay, took the screenshot. Let's test the graphics real quick. But before that, I want to see if there's any HP uh, control for the, let me see, maybe system information. Usually, the, what's their name of their, I forget the name of their um, app that would control it. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that it probably, and this is the Wolf Security. Let's see what this is. Oh, my HP, there it is. Let's try the my HP and then we'll rerun it. You know, happening all live here. Let's see if this is it. I don't want any of this crap. How do I do it without? I don't want to give them, skip this step. Okay, that's better. Programmable key. You got programmable key. You got auto frame. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to allow you to change the, put the auto frame on the camera, the five megapixel camera, which I can tell you from this little shot here, it's going to be really good. You could put auto frame on. So if I, it looks like it will keep it me in frame. Maybe if I move around a little bit. Yeah, see, it's already keeping me in frame. Nice. You can go to the appearance. They got filters here. I could put the filters on. And uh, we can go high filter, makes me even more beautiful. You can go medium filter and then low filter. Enhancements, so lighting adjustment is on. Auto frame we just took a look at. Background, I could do the background blur. So I can't do it according to this when auto frame is on. Okay. So let me go back to auto frame, turn it off, and then let's change the background. And that blurs the background. It's a little aggressive, but uh, it does the job. It's also got HP presence detection. So if somebody's peering over your shoulder, I guess, or it knows when you're in front of the computer and when you walk away, it'll lock it for more security. Again, a lot of security here, especially in enterprise business-focused laptops. So I don't know. I'm still looking at this. Uh, so... That's the camera. Let me go here. Tile, quick drop, HBO audio controls, anything regarding the um, settings. I don't see anything, so I'm not really sure. So if anybody, but I, I think it's, that I the, judging from that score, that's about right, I would say, for a laptop like this. So yeah, it's like a glam cam, but more sophisticated. <laughs> Some cool features, uh, especially like the filters, like the Sony ZV-1. Yeah, they have that. Yeah. HP needs to try and make a phone. I think they've done that in the past, but I don't know how successful it was. All right, let's uh, let's run the compute benchmark while we're at it. Good to see everybody. We got 83 of you watching. Uh, we're doing the HP Elite Dragonfly Gen 3 here for 2022. It's a uh, clamshell this time around. They're trying different iterations. This is a 13.5 inch uh, full HD display, 1920 by 1280, um, non-touch. Uh, it's a glossy display, I can tell you, but it's a really nice high quality display. 2.2 pounds or one kilogram in terms of the weight, super thin and light, very portable. And it uh, looks like it might have 5G in it. So uh, I might just have to put my SIM in, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's already, I don't think there's a SIM in there. This got a score of 18,000, pretty much what we would expect from um, a integrated XE graphics. So I just took a screenshot of that. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the webcam in more depth here. So let's go to the camera. And let's let it access that. Let's uh, put it onto the video mode. And it's a really nice, uh, oh, and again, I have this blurred background. This, so this is the blurred background. I didn't turn it off because you can't have the auto frame and the bl bl blurred background at the same time. Okay, let me just go back there. Just try that, see what that, what that did down there. Um, let's go to the settings and I just want to see Video settings, uh, 1080p. Oh, there's 1440p. I just I just switched it. 
1440p. It's a five megapixel camera. So again, once again, HP doing the high res uh, cameras on theirs. Flicker reduction auto. And you could do stabilization. And let me see what else. Related settings. Let me close this and turn off the blurred background just so we can go back to this. And um, it's really nice, actually. I got to tell you. So going back to the camera, I'm going to turn off the background. No background blur. Okay. Now, let's close that. And let's go back to the camera. I hate that we have to switch around, but that's, that's a little kludgy, but that's all right. And here it is. Looks nice. So this is 1440p. I, I don't have the auto frame on. Oh, I hate when this stuff. I don't have the auto frame on, but it does have auto lighting adjustments. And right now, 1440p. Yeah, that's the setting I want. Camera is good, my friend. Camera is good. And if I put it on my face, you see how like it brights up. Again, I have a lot of light coming in here. So, um, and then this is the photo mode. And then if you want to do photo, keeps you, you know, has a little framing thing there. And then of course, here's video. I think it looks good. Very clear, very high quality 1440p. Now this is an IR camera. Might want to change the appearance filters. Face smoothing too. Yes. So if we go back to here, I don't know if we can do it while the camera app's open. It may ask us to close it. Let's see. So let's go back here and appearance. We could do high again, because I, let's turn off the camera and let's go back here. Camera preview. So this is appearance filters and this one is high and we can't do too much about my face people. This is medium and then low. Let's put it on high because I need as much help as I can get. Um, camera is good. You like it. It meets, does it meet your approval? My, and the thing is people keep in mind, like William is saying, this is a 1080p live stream. So it actually should look even better in person. Very, very good. That, well, that's a surprise off late. I have seen cameras getting good on laptops. Yeah. As of late, absolutely getting much better. So pretty nice stuff here. Let's put all auto frame on. Always keep me in frame. And again, this is going to be great for the business uh, user or anybody who uses it. Works from home, Zoom calls. Uh, I would be very, very... Uh, look, it's pretty aggressive, the beauty mode. It took a lot of my wrinkles out. Very aggressive. little artificial looking, but I'll take it. <laughs> it, shaves, it shaved about 10 years off my life, or maybe more. Very good camera, Mohammed. Seems to handle the dynamic range pretty well. Yeah, Michael. Doesn't go too dark with the bright lights in the studio background. Yeah, very usable. I agree. Yeah, he's 29. Uh, yeah, I'm 29. I wish. <laughs> Had a good time at 29. All right, so uh, that's the camera. Very, very nice. And let us um, let me just go here. And let's... Uh, Let's go to, I want to download the crystal disc mark test to see the speed of the 512 gigabyte SSD. And then I'm going to see if we can open it up here. And uh, let's download this. I do. I just did my review revolt. It's doing surprisingly well. The MacBook M2, MacBook Air M2 people, for those that want to see it, it's live on my channel. It started off slow, but it gained overnight, like it went crazy a little bit, but it's sort of calmed down already. And let's close all this stuff. Let's uh, say yes to that. So this is a 512 gigabyte SSD. And let's see, we'll know right away. We'll know right away. If it's Gen 3 or Gen 4. We'll see. I think the next MacBook will be the one. That's We'll see. Yeah, this is Gen 4. That's nice. 65. It's even better. 66, 63. 
Uh, that's a great read, people. That's very, very good. Nice job, HP. But we're not done yet. <laughs> we got the read. Oh, the right. I'm sorry. The read is good. We'll see what the right. Any right? Hopefully, four or five, maybe even six thousand would be great. Yeah. So the camera still looks great. When you see all those laptops coming out with 1080p cameras, it makes Dell XPS with the 720p second class. You know, look, like I said, uh, William, they did improve the 720p, but again, we're in 2022. Uh, obviously, their competition, HP, Lenovo, they're making high-end 1080p cameras. And in this case, above that, 1440p, 5 megapixel camera here is what we have here. So... Uh, this is a very nice camera. Now, you can see here, hard to see it here, but in the right lighting, this is an IR camera. So you'll be able to uh, log in with face recognition. I already set it up. Now, the design language, it's a little bit more rounded here than in the previous models. Uh, so it's a little bit more comfortable. There's no sharper, there's, there's not really sharp edges on this. Very comfortable palm rest. Um, it's got NFC, obviously a business users might need that. And, uh, does it have a smart card? I don't think it has a smart card reader, but it does have 5g. I think, let me go back to the, uh, device manager here. Let's, um, let me go to the network adapters. So it has 5g, it has 5g solution 5,000. So it looks like the modem is in there. We're going to open it up. I decided we're going to open it up. Let's see if we're finished with that test. Not yet. Come on. Hurry up, HP. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> who says you can't who who says you can't get some comedy here at uh what are we at? Uh um 514 p.m. Pacific time on a Sunday. And of course, it depends where you are. Can you pop in your SIM card, please? Uh, I don't know if there's already one in there. Let's see. Cellular is on. Oh, it has eSIM. So it might have it already. But I don't know if they, they may give me one. I don't know. I could, I don't know if it, ha I, can I open this? Uh, this might just be, e oh, it does open up. Look at this. Okay. So it does open up and let's see. There's no SIM card in there. So I'll have to put it in. I'd have to take it out of one of my other laptops that has it. But yes, there's 5G here. And I love the fact you don't need a SIM remover tool. It just pops right out. So pretty good. Now, uh, decent writes. Like I said, 4,000, I'll take it. 3991. These are fast reads and writes. This is a fast SSD here. And my, I imagine if you, even if you go to a terabyte, you might even be faster. Oh, it still looks great, Ollie. I love the XPS 13 Plus. And it looks like I'll be getting a XPS 13 9515 with the with the real key, you know, with the real uh, escape key and all that stuff. That's coming hopefully in the next week. Uh, I got the build. Is, I'm getting it for my wife because I figured I want to review it and she needs a laptop. So I wanted to see that one. It might be a good one. It's that bluish color. So I will have that to compare to the plus. So stay tuned. So this will be one I'm buying for my wife. So we'll see. Not my choice for 4K. So it's a 5G modem here and it will be backwards compatible. Um, just configured mine, OLED, 16 gigabytes, one terabyte, 4,000. And you're talking about which, which computer you're talking about, KGL? So many going on, I'm trying to pick up midstream the conversations. What is the ports that come with this? So uh, I went over it earlier. So we have HDMI here. I could show you real quick. So it's H I can even take, oh, so HDMI here, we have the SIM tray over here. And I'll, again, I'll show you. There's the uh, Thunderbolt 4 port here, USB-C. And then on this side, uh, you get a Kensington lock, a second USB-C Thunderbolt 4, drop jaw USB-A, and a headphone jack. So nice port selection. Love having HDMI. It is light. Olivier, good to see you. Uh, it's 2.2 pounds or one kilogram, according to the specs. Have I seen the newest AMD 32 gigabytes for 4K USD, man? 
Which what do you talk? Which one? What's which? Thirty two gigas for four K. Have to get the newest AMD. I don't know which one you're talking about. This would be the configuration we get, but that it would be too much for me. Okay, people are having a nice conversation. I'm trying to figure this out. Nice that they put uh, one USB-C port on each side. Yes, I'm like you. I like that. I like that. Jaden's Gaming uh, fans, garage doors, and more. Is it DDR5 or DDR4? Let's take a look at the um, task manager. And let's go to more details. Let's maximize that. And let's go to performance. And let's go to the memory. 16 gigabytes, 4,800. Uh, 4,800, what does that tell us? Let me look. Is that DDR4? Um, I think it might be. Where would I see the... The speed is 4,800 megahertz, but where would I see if it's DDR5 or 4? I don't know if they say it here. Let me see on the website. Display storage. So they're talking about, they don't tell you, well, let me see here. They just tell you what RAM it is. This, um, we'll have to figure that out. Is that DDR5? Yeah, I think that might be DDR5. Because we saw that, right? It can go, that's 4,800. I think that is DDR5. DDR5, thank you. Thank you, KGL, thank you. One bad van, thank you. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's take a screenshot of this. All right, so now, Fast SSD, fast RAM, DDR5, so that's good. Gen 4 SSD storage. Let's turn it off, and we're going to open this sucker up. Because I want to see that modem in there. Let's shut it down. Let me, uh, let me get my kit. Use the iFixit kit, which is one of the best investments. Okay, let's unplug that. That beeping is a, I have a smoke detector that needs a battery change. Okay, if you hear, I don't know if you can hear it. Andrew's going to discover gold bar HP puts inside. <laughs> Would be nice. All right, so this is the, looks like these are uh, torque screws, T5. Okay, let's try this one. Look how nice these blue screw. Oh, I hope they're captive. Yeah, these might be captive. I like I like this trend of going with these captive screws. I don't know if that's the case. I think it is. Yes, these are captive. And what I like about that is you don't lose them. I like what Lenovo does, and I just saw with Dell with that latitude. I like this trend. Makes it easier. And there's only four of these. Hopefully there's nothing under those strips. I don't think there is. Okay. Hope I don't break any. Oh, shit. Something's stuck in there. Oh shit! Sorry. I hope Dell's not. I hope uh, HP's not watching. Okay, that's coming out. Oh, that just came right off. Okay, some of these are tough, you know, to get these off. So nice. This is metal, very thin. Underside there of the thing. Okay, and uh, here we go. So, and there's your modem, by the way, right there. So there's the modem, and there's the that's the five G, Fibercom or whatever they're calling it. Now there are two fans here, okay, and here's your SSD. That's the uh, Gen four. Now this has uh, a sixty eight point four watt hour battery, so it's a nice size for this size laptop.
and here you can get it. Let me get a good shot for the video. Okay. And uh, there's a heat sink right there. Um, and the, the Wi-Fi card, which is again, right here, it's soldered in. That has Bluetooth 5.3 according to HP's website. So that's pretty interesting. There's the wireless card there. What I do, uh, what I do, you, what I do is I use a small magnetic parts dish purchased from Harbor Freight and put the screws in. Yeah. So what I do here, um, William. So in this kit, they give you. Oops, sorry. You just try to get it to the right. It's very sensitive. This remote. There we go. One more. There we go. So what I have here is right here, I would put all the screws. So they have little compartments so you don't lose it. That toolkit um, is part of this iFixit toolkit. And this lid serves as a dish so you don't lose the screws. And this is invaluable. This kit is amazing. I love it. All right, so that's it. Let's put this back on. Good job, HP. Nice engineering there. Let me make sure that this goes in correctly. Should just snap in, and then I can screw those back in. There we go. I got nervous there. I thought I got my pry tool stuck in there. <laughs> that would have been uh, not good. Oh, wait, I didn't get this one all the way in. Okay, hold on. These You have to start with the bottom in and then work your way around. There we go. There we go. A few places you got to snap it in. And then once you do that, you can just screw everything back. And I love, again, they went with captive screws this time. You know, be very careful. Don't scratch anything because it scratches pretty easily. I didn't scratch this one, but I've scratched the ones in the past. That blue scratches easily but not the, maybe not this one i don't know and i'm sure they're using a lot of ocean bound plastic stuff within there they touted it last time i'm sure it's going to be the same this time but good job so that's the internals so tell me if how, how, how easy it is to do it in the Mac to upgrade the RAM and the SSD. Well, this one you can't upgrade the RAM, but um, you can't do it in the Mac. That's the one thing that I'm not happy about, and I talked about that in the video. All right. So looking good so far. What do you think about this? This Dragonfly? Pretty good. So we've got 91 of you watching. Let's... Uh, got 88 likes do me a favor we need 12 more to get to 100 let's get to 100 likes can you do me that favor it could be good to have magnetic but i don't have a magnetic dish <laughs> um gonna get to your questions and comments the last thing you need is a few more loose screws <laughs> <laughs> you're not kidding <laughs> screw you <laughs> kidding all right, that's good. So you like this, huh? Pretty nice. Did you mention the price? No, I've I've intentionally avoided that actually. <laughs> so the price, let's let's price this out. It's gonna for people better sit down when you see the pricing. Again, this is a business enterprise. I think it starts at around twenty four hundred. Um, so keep that in mind when you see the pricing. Um, we can load it up here. So let's uh, let's get that back on. Guys, I prefer Windows anyways. Yeah. All right, let's talk pricing because everybody's asking. All right, so let me log in. And that was fast. I don't know. If, I hardly even like look, glanced at it. it. It already logged me in because we set up the Windows. Hello. All right, so let's go to, let's see. Let's go to Google because I hate this bang shit. Okay, let's go to... What am I looking for? I'm looking for HP Elite Dragonfly Gen 3, G3. Okay. 
and here's the G3. Let's go to this. We can go to this camera. So it starts at 2789. Let's customize it. Let's see what we can figure out here. So look at it has the silver there, but it also obviously in blue. So you can get it with a free DOS. Is that Linux? Is that a is that a skew of Linux or no no operating system? I think free DOS might be. I don't know. Um, you could also get it. Obviously, it comes with a lit Windows 11 Pro. So let's spec it out as they sent it. So that's with the 1235U. That would be a Core i5, but we have the uh, 1265U. And we have it with the V Pro. So it would be this one. We don't, I don't think they give us with the OS recovery thing. And then we go to the display is the one, the first one. I think we have the first one, the non-touch. But again, you can go for the, these are all bright view. And then of course you can go with the thousand nit uh, privacy display. You could go with the OLED option. Um, there should be an OLED option here somewhere. Do I even see it? Maybe not on this SKU, but it is available. Oh, see, uh, it says it here, 13.5 inch bright view OLED, 3K, 2K. Uh, this option is only available with an OLED base unit. So we don't have the OLED base unit, but again, we don't have the OLED here. So, but if you want OLED, they have it. You just have to spec it out on that base unit. Okay, so we have the 512 gigabytes. I don't know if it's TLC SSD. I don't know, but assuming it is. And then, um, and I don't know if it's self-encrypted. Self we'll worry about that. I don't know. Wireless WAN. So again, look, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3. Look, we're already at 30, almost $3,300. So with the broadband, which is what I have here, but I don't think I have this one. I have... Uh, wait a minute. Do I have the, the, I don't know. Let's see. This is LTE. We have the 5G. So it'd be this one. Oh, it's only 74 bucks. That's not too bad. And you could pick a service provider if you want AT&T, but I don't forget. I mean, I have my own card. It's, uh, I guess it's unlocked. I'm assuming we'll, we'll figure that out. Power with sticker premium power cord with C5 connector. Okay, I don't know. HP tamper lock. So I guess that's like um, locks it down, like a you know BIOS thing or something. If somebody goes inside, they know if you messed around with any of the internals, maybe. You're looking at thirty five hundred dollars, folks. Not cheap. And it doesn't have a discrete GPU. But not me listen. That's not what it's meant for, Mark. This is not that type of device. Again, who's buying this? Companies, enterprises, uh, uh, business users are going to buy these in bulk. They're going to put these out in their fleet, and they're going to get discounts, and they're, they're not going to blink at the price. So why I like to look at these, a lot of these features filter their way to the consumer lines, whether it be Spectre, Envy, stuff like that. These type of things wind up first here, and then it goes to the consumer line. Because you'd buy this if you want more security features. It's simple as that. You want uh, always-on connected 4G or 5G. You don't get that with the XPS. That's why you buy it. Companies need to have that secure and always-on connection. You don't want to rely on Wi-Fi hotspots or uh, public Wi-Fi. You don't want that. Now, does it come with a three-year warranty? That I don't know. I believe it might have a three-year warranty. Let me see if it says anything about warranty here. So uh, let me see if it says anything. Warranty options. So it's a one-year warranty with this. And then I guess you'd spend extra for a three-year warranty. So you could see it here. So one year included in that price. If you want three years, next business day, 183. And then it goes up from there. One-year standard, correct. Oh, I'm glad you like it, BG. From South Korea. Nice. So the ZBooks, uh, which is their professional line, and I have something coming from them this week. The Z, the Z line, they give you three-year warranty. That's also HP, by the way. What the f? I don't know. <laughs> Who does five years? Companies hold on to this stuff. You know, again, they're not going to blink at this price. This pricing. 
So according to Mark, he's involved with buying laptops for his company, and the Dell's retail is not that crazy for those specs. I know bigger companies get some discounts. Yeah. So it just depends, you know. Um, it's expensive, and I'm, you know, we're not going to avoid that, uh, you know, that idea that this is a very expensive laptop. But it's also a very nice laptop. And when you say, well, it doesn't have a discrete GPU, they don't want discrete GPUs on this. They want something that's always on with the connection, that's thin and light, very portable, uh, very durable. I believe this is also military standard ratings on this. And it has HP Wolf security, a very advanced uh, security for business users. And that is very important. The OLED configure ships in October. Not surprised. <laughs> Not surprised. That's why they probably were only able to get us this one uh, with the full HD only. It's still very nice. OLED will take on, they probably is a supply shortage still. That three to two ratio, we need more laptops like that. I like the way that HP has embraced the three to two. We saw it on the Chromebook, the Dragonfly Chromebook I recently reviewed. And on the HP Spectre X360, I did my unboxing first look review. That video review will be coming in the next week. So stay tuned. Business users, according to Dominic De Silva, business users or business buyers want warranty parts for three years, V Pro for remote deployment. Exactly. They want to send these out and have that uh, ability, that V Pro and all the things that that provides on security levels as well uh, to their fleet. So, yes, absolutely. I would not want to be using this computer in five years. You may not be, but somebody might be, especially when you're paying that price. Um, the Dragonfly isn't a Chromebook, Jimmy. This Dragonfly is not a Chromebook. So the Chromebook is very nice along the same lines, uh, design language as this one. Uh, although that one, I believe, was that a, that was a convertible, right? Yeah. So that was the convertible. This year they decided to go away from the convertible on the Windows laptop, obviously, uh, which is pretty interesting because in the prior iterations, they were... Uh, convertibles, 360 degrees. Now, what I like about this one, again, this one right here, um, this has 5G modem in it, so I can connect it up, go out and about, uh, go to meetings. I don't have to worry about connecting to some network. I don't need to connect it to my phone. I know it's always on and connected, and I don't have to worry about that. That's one less thing that an executive on the road will have to worry about. And that's very important, believe it or not. And a lot of people say, well, just connect to your, your iPhone or your smartphone, or your Android phone. That's not ideal, always, the, you know, not always ideal. So uh, like having that feature in it. So three to two aspect ratio to me is the way to go. 16 to 10 is the way to go. We see a lot of 16 to 10 laptops. Uh, 16 to nine, well, you know, it's a little bit of a thing of the past, I think. And I, Samsung's still using it. Um, according to Michael, uh, he found out that Asus included a one-year accidental damage protection with his Zen 14, ZenBook 14. That's very nice for an $1,100 laptop. Yeah, that is nice. These are, uh, 16 to 10 is also one bad band's uh, favorite aspect ratio for laptops. Uh there are, there are international plans that only work on non-mobile no, non numbers, correct? So only iPad cellular or dedicated modem, okay? I don't think this laptop is for media consumption or gaming, so 3 to 2 is great. So what is 3 to 2? I mean, what is it? It's taller, so you're going to see more on the display. You'll do less scrolling when it comes to web browsing. And... Uh, it's going to have black bars if you're consuming any kind of media that has been optimized for a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. So you'll have a bar on the top and the bottom. doesn't bother me. Uh, gaming on a 3 to 2 is, I don't think that's ideal, but this is not a gaming laptop. Now, I'm sure, and again, I'll test it in the review, you'll be able to do some gaming on this. It's, it's got integrated Iris XE graphics if you lower some of the settings. We've seen that you can get playable frame rates on some of the titles, but again, not a gaming laptop here. So let's, I think that's pretty clear. Now, what do we do have are two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one on each side. And of course, you could connect to an external GPU. That's one of the benefits of Thunderbolt 4. So 
you just have to decide, well, what are you going to use this for? Now, this is obviously a business enterprise focused laptop and that's who's going to use it. So we have 105 likes, 91 watching. So it's been pretty decent turnout for a Sunday, uh, Sunday night. Not too bad. So almost becomes four to three. And that's the issue for you. You don't, again, not, you know, not everybody likes it. But again, I like the way that HP is looking at this from a practical standpoint. They like the three to two. They're, they've used this design language in other uh, laptops that they've released. We've already reviewed some of them, as I mentioned. So three to two is going to be great. I'm a big fan of it. I like that we find them in the Surface devices from Microsoft. And I think that's great. Oh, we got our first super chat from uh, our good buddy, KGL. And it's $25. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my friend. That is very generous. I am very, very happy with that. Uh, I'm, well, of course I am, but uh, I, I like that. That's nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Give it up for KGL. K is a G. That is correct, Revolt. All right, K, yeah, that's right. K, KG is a G. Anyone into poker? Well, I'm in the right town for that. <laughs> Will you review the Asus ZenBook Flip 15.6 with 120 hertz, 2.8 K OLED touch? Oh, I'd love that. If they send one over, that would be great. Oh, great. We have the Naked HD. Oh, they're here and they'll find the girl for us. All right. So that is great news, people. Here it is. I just put it on the effing. No, they're gone. I'm banning you. I'm banning the naked. The party's over. The party is <laughs> over. <laughs> they always get me. <laughs> YouTube, if you're watching, which you're not, I'm sure. Um, Revolt needs two girls. So, no. Um, you, they're doing nothing. YouTube has done nothing to fix this problem. E cup girls, please. <laughs> oh, we get so silly here on the show. So if the, we got, you know, attacked by these bots, uh, but they're offering two girls for the price of one, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, that's what I took. That, that's what I took from that. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a bad deal. I don't know. <laughs> How is this machine compared with the ThinkPad X1 Nano? Oh, it's interesting. Uh, it would be comparable because they're both very thin and light, both are very um, comparable in terms of the footprint and the size. Um, let me see if I have it here. Hold on. I may, may not. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think I have it here with me ready, but I do have it here somewhere. I should be hopefully getting the next gen, the gen two into the studio. So I'm sorry I don't have it with me or it could be buried under something there. I don't know. It's here somewhere. By this, I mean the dragonfly, not the girls. Okay. What did you ask? So far, would you take this uh, over the XP S 13 plus or a ThinkPad? So it's a different device. It's like comparing apples to oranges. I don't think we need to compare them. XPS 13 plus obviously is a consumer based uh, laptop that is geared towards an, a consumer, not a business person, although a business person can use it. Uh, this has all the features that a, um, an enterprise or business user would want. Uh, you don't get that so much on the XPS 13 plus. And again, high res camera is much better on this. If you're going to do any video conferencing on the road or working from home, uh, this has been stellar. Uh, it was really good. I showed an example of it earlier. So if you want to see the replay, you'll get an idea. And of course, I'll show an example in the upcoming video. Today, according to Dutrans, uh, HP X360 16 inch are selling for $1149 at Best Buy. That is a good price. And I did a review on the earlier model, not the one with the 12th gen. Uh, not yet. Hopefully, I'll get one. But if you saw my video with the 11th gen processor, 
Very nice. I like what they did with the design language on it. And we, you know, my videos are up on that. So if you want to head over to the channel, you can check it out. And again, I have links for that as well. So if you want to buy it, I can get a small commission, of course, through my affiliate links. Uh, very small, but certainly helps out the channel as well. Okay, does it support charging via USB-C ports? Yes, that's what I'm charging right now. It's the only way to charge it. I'm using one on one I have here. This is 130 watt. It works, but it, it comes with a 65 watt braided USB C adapter. I showed it earlier. Um, yes, of course you can charge it. And it's charging right now. Everyone has needs. I will never buy 13. I guess, you know, it just depends if you need more screen real estate. The HP 360 with a 12700H, that's an H 45 watt CPU. 12th gen? I, don't, I didn't review that. I don't know if they're sending that over. I don't know. Hopefully, I will be getting it. So, Revolt is watching this on his iPad Mini 6. Most people will never buy this. You know, I like the, the Mini. I think it's got a place. Uh, it's very portable. I love that. I would like to see a Mini Pro, right? Like the iPad Pro, but in Mini size. That would be cool. That I'd like to see. So, we've been doing this an hour, almost an hour and thir th hour 13 minutes. Wow. So I'm going to do all the testing on this. We've already opened it up. Um, and I'll get all that. So what I like so far, and I've seen in other ones, the U-Series seems to do a little bit better on the battery. Now, I did my battery test on the uh, the Dell Latitude 9430 2-in-1, and that did really well, by the way, on the battery. I'll talk more about it, but I was surprised how good the battery was phenomenal camera on that one as well that was really good uh they really did a good job on that and i love that gorgeous graphite color two-in-one convertible took a lot of design language oh by the way people uh i have something coming i have the dell precision 14 inch coming uh, that's a workstation that that's almost like the xps 14 what we all want uh that's coming this week so that's going to be phenomenal that that looks gorgeous uh, they made it from the ground up, but it has a lot of that design language. It's, I think, the 54. Let me see. I don't remember the model number. That's also very expensive, but I've been salivating since uh, my contact says they were going to be sending that. I was salivating. Let me go to... Uh, let me just see the model number, and I'll tell you right now. So it's the 5470. The Latitude 5470, and I was drooling. Z16 Lenovo, if you got money for it. Oh, I'm hopefully getting a review unit soon, so stay tuned. Uh, the Z13 did really well on my channel. I want to thank everybody. I wish they did an XPS 14. This is as close as you're going to get it. Um, if we go here, let me show you. 5470, so Dell, um, this is the Precision 5470. And if we go to the precision work, it's a, it's a, it's a really gorgeous, I mean, look at that. And he, I got one with the Core i9 coming. It's got a A1000 discrete GPU in it. It's a 14 inch. This is the, this to me looks like the Dell XPS 14. I, I'm excited about this one. And it's got the carbon fiber. I mean, it's like almost like a throwback with the physical escape key. <laughs> There's your power button. Could be, uh, yeah, it's good. I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about it. Hopefully you guys are. So that's coming. That's not cheap either. <laughs> but I get to check out all this stuff, you know. Okay. All right. I don't know. We're at an hour and 16 minutes. I don't know how much longer we're going to go. Could this be a thing they do with fancy devices like Spectre? I don't know. Who? Okay. All right, people. Anything else? Don't worry. <laughs> we could only dream. All right, so people. I think we're going to call it a live stream. It's already almost an hour, over an hour, and almost an hour and 17 minutes. And uh, that's about 2K. I am about 1.6. I don't know. I, I'm lost. So D Dell did it again. 
50, 5470 more ports than an XPS 15. We're gonna talk, we're gonna look at it this week. It's coming in, hopefully. That's supposed to be coming in. Fun. Yeah, this was fun. This was fun. All right, people, I gotta go. I gotta get some rest. This is ridiculous. But I wanna thank the moderators for doing such a great job. And I wanna thank everybody. Thanks for the super chat today. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Got a lot more to come. This week, we're going to be rocking and rolling once again. So make sure you are subscribed. I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.